we shall now learn how to send and receive json json as we know is javascript object notation and the nice thing is that your c sharp dynamic objects or anonymous objects they can map they map direct they they can be translated directly to json object notation nothing special is required so you can just create an anonymous object from your action method and return it as usual and that anonymous object can be read as json directly as we'll show in this project we created a basic mbc application add controller home controller this is our index method and we can add the view also click add this is the view where we'll display the json and this is the controller where we will uh, return that json i'll do one thing i'm creating a public action result get json and suppose there is a parameter also string str company here we are returning return json object data so we can directly return an anonymous new we'll we'll write name is equal to hoven email is equal email is equal to i'll just wrap it off support at hoven trainings dot com company name is equal to company so the basic point which i'm trying to illustrate here is how to return a json by receiving any argument this argument can be used to query your database and once you query your database you can return data in the form of an anonymous object new a dynamic property email is another property company name is another property we haven't done anything with this company here except that returning it back into a property with name company name since we are just illustrating this is how you return a json object this way write new put any properties you like let us now come back to our index.cshtml and begin to write the process for receiving this json we can write at the rate ajax dot action link link text get json action name is i'll just check up this is get json this is the action name ajax options new ajax options
what are the ajax options http method is equal to post since i am posting it i'll have to put http post here also http method is post on success is equal to we can just give the name of the javascript function data that will receive the data from the server side the json sent from the server will be available in data in the parameter name data i'll now write the script here script type is equal to text by javascript function fx data and i can do one thing i'll put one span here id is equal to sp result where v is equal to i'll write uh, where company name i'm just writing it underscore so that you know that this is a different field is equal to data dot company name this is one thing then i send name and email underscore name is equal to data dot name okay so i have created three different variables that store the data coming from the server side company name name email they are being stored in three different variables now how do i send the parameter there this parameter for this we have to look for a overload of action link that helps us to send root parameters so if you look at this there is object root values that you can see on the screen object root values we are sending a value for company is equal to ho1 it will be taken from here it will reach this point so this is a root value the parameter name then we are writing a span at the top where the results of data will be displayed for example we are writing dollar hash sp result dot html plus space plus underscore name plus space plus email this is one thing that we have written our code for receiving json from the server side now we need to include some files for the ajax into our layout file so we can open our layout file and just below the jquery bundle we can include the bundle for jquery val and once this is included and this code is in place we can run it to verify the results get json and it has got the whole thing that we sent from there in the format ho1 hyphen ho1 hyphen that all so this is how you are able to uh, send json it's as simple as anything and this is how you receive it this parameter don't change the name of this parameter don't write fx 
x y z because it might not work data is a parameter name that that has probably been hard coded into the available json or jquery include files for us that we include with jquery val bundle so i recommend don't change this name and this is how you receive it and this is how you send it and this is how you ensure that your jquery actually works fine for you we'll close it right now thanks